nothing else is going to protect us. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the Holy Ghost living in you. Keep you against this perversion, this evil, this unclean spirit. For I will pour out my spirit and give you power to get the devil. Power to draw the devil away from your mind, from your home, from your body.
gonna keep us. Nothing else is gonna protect us from this evil that's coming on the land. Yo, Kalanaka, de 
walk and everything. I haven't seen that in forever, like that at all when we go out. Thank you so much. Amen. Isn't that great? Have you seen that? That's Jesus. Jesus. Everybody in the band said, that's Jesus. That's Jesus helping him walk. That's Jesus giving him strength. Amen. Praise God. Y'all feel that peace? Well, James, it's good to see you and your wife. I'm not going to have you to testify. But I'm glad to see you. Amen. Say something anyway. I just, I just thank God for being here. I thank God for, for his people, for the saints. And I thank God that he's, he's putting something in, in each and every one of us. And, and we do. We have so much more than, than man, the, the world is, is, is hungry and it's thirsty. The earth is crying out for just that little portion that we, each one of us have. And I thank God we, we had the opportunity to go out and we took some, some blessing bags out and we were just driving around. We ended up at a at a mission, a kind of an outreach, and, and we were able to uh, to pray for some people, and and I just thank God for that. And I, I yes. you know, we, it was we we have so much more than what we, what we That's think, right. think that we have. We have so much more because you know my our our son brother Trey was praying, and it was a simple prayer. It was a prayer that that a, that a son would would say to his father, just you know, when when a little child reaches out, you know you. You, you pick them up because they're just reaching. And it was such a simple prayer. It was yes. just, it was from the heart. And I, and I was just, I was thankful we were able to do that. But then, you know, the people that we, that we were praying for, they, they, they were so thankful. They mm -hmm. were so thankful. They said, thank you so much for doing that. I've, I've been struggling so much. And I just, you're, you're right. I, I just, I need help. And, and, but it was a simple prayer. It was just that. And, and it meant so much to them that they would, you know, that they would confess thank you. That was so That's powerful. Right. That was so strong. I needed that. But it was such a simple prayer. And, right. and we have, we have, we know how to reach out to our Father. We know how to do that. And we know how to do that on behalf of other people. And, and, and He's calling us. To go out and do just that, to reach out, to witness, to testify, to take this little this 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 that we have, and 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 us, sister, I was right. We can't sit on it. We can't. We can't. You can't. You can't have this kind of a service. You can't sit. That's right. On what we just you gotta use it. Got. <laughs> we have to go out there. We have to use it. We have to take this that God just gave us. This. This peace and this joy, and and take it ever everywhere, anywhere. We, I mean, we have. I, I would, you know, wherever you are, your head on the swivel, your head on the swivel, because there is somebody out there that you, only you, only you are called to testify to, to witness Amen. to. And and I just, I'm so thankful that we're called to do that. I'm so thankful for this joy and this peace that we're called to share with other people. Amen. That is, that is. Joy beyond joy, beyond treasure. And I just thank God for that. And, and I thank God for, for all of you, for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And y'all just you know, keep praying for us, praying for our strength. And we pray for you. And, and just love you. Amen. That's a beautiful testimony. Yeah. Out there, where the need is, where the sick is, where the suffering and dying is. Yeah. Amen. And, uh, Let's pray for Brother, uh, uh, when it cuts my hair, what's his name? Mikey. He's going to Jamaica, him and Brother uh, Ron and Brother Andrew, different ones. And uh, I remember when uh, we used to travel to Jamaica and all these different countries. And... I remember seeing 400 blind people in a period of four months. 400 blind, four, 500 crippled, uh, about four or 500 people delivered from, they called it uh, 
uh, Guinness, I can't think of the name of that drug they had back in them days. But over a million people was evangelized, delivered, demons driven out. In uh, Jamaica alone, I was telling Brother Mikey, if you get a chance to, I know you can't go to all these places, but I named some of them. I said, you go to Kingston, Montego Bay, Savannah, Le Mans, Le Mans Spanish Town, uh, Phone. I said, go to a lot of these places. We, I said, it's been years since I've been to all those places and uh, seen uh, over 500 people delivered from demon spirits and all kinds of them. Uh, you name them. Every kind of miracle you can think of. I remember we was right out of Spanish Town in a big old giant point. And there was over 100 to 200,000 people in that big park. And there was a woman come up to the front. She had sores all over her body, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Cancer sores. And Brother Terrell prayed, laid hands on her. And right before those people, every one of those, all her skin become smooth as a baby. And the people just went wild. Just no matter what height, they picked me up. I've never been so afraid in all my life. <laughs> they were so excited to see all of those fantastic. There was a man that was blind, deaf, and dumb. And they called him dummy. And God gave him a miracle. Everybody knew him. They couldn't deny the miracles that they saw. And that was just one place over there in Jamaica. And from there we went to all those islands in the Caribbean and the Virgin Islands. And from one place to another. And I thank God for all those great moves. But that's nothing compared to what God is going to do for you and through you. And like the sister was saying, God is not pouring this out for this to be wasted. Amen. But for you to get out there and use it. You got something if you use it. Don't pray for the people. Talk to them, witness to them, let them know. But God wants to help them, strengthen them. The devil has no power over this spirit that God wants to put in them. The devil has no power over this word that God wants to cleanse them and deliver them with. That Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw men from sickness, darkness, confusion, drugs, oppression, Amen. transgender, homosexuality, lesbianism. These people can be delivered. You are the generation. You are his witnesses. You are the light to those that are in darkness. If they don't find God through you and your testimony and through your life, they'll be lost forever. And we don't need the blood on our hands. God lead us to witness the people that we don't do it and they die and they sin, their blood will be on our hands. Let's get the blood of this generation off of our hands. Ask God, God give me boldness to speak your word, to witness, to pray the prayer of faith, to lift up Jesus. Give me the simple words to lead them out of darkness. Give me the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that I can be a witness for you. Jesus' name. The Bible says, he that went his souls is wise. And that's what God was giving us today, wisdom, spirit of wisdom. So we can know how to get out there and win souls. And like our sister said, what God's given you, don't let it just dry up in you. Go out tomorrow, witness to somebody. Go to Walmart, go somewhere. 
You know, and look and, and, and ask God to give you, open your heart. Lord, lead me to somebody to talk to. Him. And don't be afraid to lay hands on him. Don't be afraid to pray for him in the public. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Amen. And if you hear somebody listening to you, talk loud. So they can hear more. You be ashamed of him, you'll be ashamed of us. Don't be ashamed. In this crooked and perverted and solemn and Gamar generation, it's trying to turn us on into transgenders. But don't you let them do it. Amen. And I thank God for his mercy tonight. Y'all feel that clean feeling? Yes. Y'all feel that pure feeling? Yes. Y'all feel that peace? Yes. That's God. That's God's spirit. Not only cleansing you, but giving you something to go out there and help someone else with. Thank you, Lord. If you have, still on your feet, if you have an offering.